1970 to 1975. Uh, I've been in America since 1977. I always come back to Kenya because this place is so dear to me and uh, I stay in touch with my colleagues here. Um, I'm an arthritis doctor, I'm a rheumatologist. Um, it's just been a wonderful trip for me to meet up with my old friends uh, from a long time ago. And we used that money you know, to sponsor some medical students. And we came up with a list of five and uh, Dr. Frank Jäger and I, in, uh, in, in the same year, uh, you know, went to the University of Nairobi and uh, were received by the Vice Chancellor. And we, were, and, we, and we committed the team that we would use the money that we had, we had uh, been refunded you know, for travel to sponsor five needy medical students. Those medical students are now in their third year. We have continued to pay for their tuition, and uh, we, 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 uh, it's a six year program. And we will continue to do that, uh, realizing that that's a small part that we can give back, you know, apart from the work that we do on a daily basis. Many of the doctors here you know, volunteer on one, one way or another you know, to the community. But this particular team, you know, we also belong to the chapter, of the, you know, it's called the medical chapter. All those doctors who graduated from the University of Nairobi, we are a chapter because the Alumni Association of the University of Nairobi, which I, I was, uh, I would say, it is a, a privilege you know, to, be the, to be the council of the University of Nairobi you know, and to propose that uh, it's a good idea. It has now many chapters, there's a medical chapter, a law chapter, even there's a journalism chapter, and uh, there, are, you know, there are chapters for veterinary medicine, the chapter for agriculture. There were about 25 chapters by the time you know, uh, I, I left being the, the chair and gave it to the minister. And Dr. Gikoyo was going to work, was organizing it, but unfortunately because of the COVID we couldn't do it. So it just happened, we have sort of a web group and I told them that I was coming and they were kind enough to, as many of, of us as they could, to come together and talk about old time. My old classmates of the year of 1970, of the big set here, all the way from California. Dr. Betty Gikonyo, as you know, was also my classmate. Dr. Lona Sangare, who is an anesthetist. Dr. Oweru, Oweru is well known for uh, skin specialist. He takes care of ladies' faces. Dr. Frank Jenga. He's a psychiatrist of the group, very well known for his Chiromo group. Uh, Dr. Jean Kagia, who is a gynecologist. And uh, my very good friend, Dr. Grace Kitoni, who is a pathologist and a hematologist at the Kenyatta University, just retired at the University of Nairobi. And my good friend, Dr. Nadia Singh, who is also a gynecologist. So this is just part of our team that was our classmates in 1975. And we are having a reunion here now, almost. Uh, 50 years plus since that time. I must tell you that medicine has changed in this country. From what we had in the old days and now, uh, medicine is not what it used to be in those days. Uh, many things have changed. Even the disease pattern, you know, the heart disease that we see today was not there. You could go for a five, 10 years before seeing a patient with a heart attack. Now we are seeing them every day. Partly because of the diet has changed, the lifestyles have changed, and many things have changed. But what has not changed is the friendship we have amongst ourselves of this group that uh, we met as young kids in 1970 after Form 6, and we are still friends and still continue to join together and work together. And we encourage people like uh, Dr. Dixit to come back from the US. As you know, me and Dr. Petty also trained in the US in the 1980s. Uh, we went to Minneapolis, where we did our cardiology, and came back to enjoy this beautiful sunshine, which was not in Minneapolis. And I encourage the young doctors out there to come, like Dr. Richard comes often, comes and gives us lectures and helps us here and there. And uh, we are, despite being uh, in different countries in the world, we're just one group of Kenyan doctors who are still friends and working together, and we love it. In fact, I have uh, seen to it from all the young female doctors that I have talked to, that they should become anesthetists, and I think we are soon overtaking the men. 
we have a little problem because you see when you are a woman you have to look after the family as well as look after your profession. Um, in my profession, most of the work is done at night, emergencies. So sometimes it is difficult to fit in anesthesia and family life and a few of them do leave. But um, a lot of them have stayed and they, they are doing very well. And I'm sure more and more are going to stay. And we have been encouraged by our male colleagues who very often take over from us if we are unable to come. And now with the, the gender sensitivity going, we are very happy to be an anesthetist. Okay, um... Recently, in fact, in the University of Nairobi, there was a time girls were more than the boys. So things are, have changed as far as gender issues are concerned in medicine. And uh, we, we don't think of ourselves for being of a particular gender. When you practice medicine, you're just a professional like any other, any other profession. We don't think of ourselves as a particular gender. But we are grateful that uh, uh, over the years, uh, more and more girls have been able to join medicine and they are excelling, especially the young ones, they are now excelling. 